South LA is not known for high rises, but it does have some landmarks worth admiring. Hey guys, and welcome back to the South LA Recap. Don't forget to like and subscribe to learn more about LA and South LA on the regular. South LA is jam packed with history. In fact, there are over 140 historic cultural monuments in this region that are recognized by the Los Angeles Cultural Heritage Commission, many of which are architecturally significant homes, churches, and businesses. In this video, I've picked five critical landmarks that really encapsulate South LA history, so let's jump into it. Near the heart of Leimert Park, you'll find the striking Spanish-style Art Deco Theater that first opened as Leimert Theater around 1931. The building's most unique feature, aside from its thoughtful attention to detail, is its towering steel frame that features the theater's name. Back in the 30s, that steel centerpiece read Leimert Theater instead of Vision Theater that you'll see today. The theater has changed hands a number of times over the last 90 years. Most notably, it was used as a Jehovah Witness Watchtower Assembly Hall for nearly two decades. In 1990, actress Marla Gibbs purchased the property and renamed it the Vision Theater with plans to showcase black art at this establishment. Gibbs lost the property to foreclosure in 1997, and the city of Los Angeles acquired it, converting it into a performing arts center. Today, the property is undergoing a massive renovations with plans to reopen in 2022. And the Vision Theater has a pretty unique story too. If you guys would like me to do a deep history dive on the history and renovation of the Vision Theater, let me know in the comments section below. Now, it would be wrong for me to have a video about South LA landmarks and not include the Watts Towers. More likely than not, you've heard of these spiraling structures built by Watts resident Simon Rodia, who started working on the towers back in 1921 and finished them around 1954. Today, you'll still find these towers standing nearly 100 feet tall in watts made out of cement and seashells and just about anything else Rodia could find. The towers sit in an open park adjacent to the Watchtower Art Center. The interior of the towers are closed for maintenance and renovation, but you can still admire the towers behind the gate. Near the southern edge of historic South Central, roughly a block from the Dunbar Hotel and across the street from the KFC on 43rd and Central, you'll find this Mission Spanish Revival storefront built in 1928. I'll be honest, I've passed by this building several times and it's non-assuming until you take a closer look. Then it's nearly natural to admire its terracotta roof, decorative molding, and old style light fixtures, among so many other things. This building is an important one too. The Golden State Mutual Life Insurance was one of the largest and most successful black owned businesses in South LA in the 20th century. Today, you'll find the building occupied by the Mexican American Opportunity Foundation, a nonprofit community based organization that serves disadvantaged individuals and families in the Los Angeles area. If you've been on the 110 freeway or even driven down Figueroa Street in the USC area, then you've seen this Felix the Cat sign that's nearly 64 years old. Winslow B. Felix established the Felix Chevrolet dealership in 1921. According to the dealership's website, Winslow Felix was friends with Pat Sullivan, who created the cartoon black cat Felix in 1919. Being friends and Winslow's opportune surname, the two decided to cross-promote the dealership and Felix the Cat the same year the dealership opened. When Nicholas Shamus purchased Felix Chevrolet in 1957, he commissioned the Felix the Cat sign that sits towering above the dealership today. Shamus believed having a recognizable sign that could be seen from the 110 freeway would make customers aware of this dealership as they cruised along the highway. In 2007, Felix Chevrolet attempted to obtain historical status for the sign, but that request was rejected by LA City Council. The last landmark on this list is, well, not really a landmark. It's probably about 20 feet too short to even qualify as one, but it is significant enough to be put on this list. In the non-assuming Martin Luther King Jr. Shopping Center in Watts, you'll find a monument dedicated to King's I Have a Dream speech tucked into the corner of the center. 
At first look, you'll find a sculpted hen welcoming a dove that sits on a monolith with King's I Have a Dream speech engraved on it. It's a wonderful piece of art to admire any time of the year or when you're going to rainbows. What is even more spectacular than this essential monument is this Watts shopping center that was built in the mid 80s. This commercial development brought the first major grocery chain since the Watts riots in the 60s. Today, the food filet that anchors this shopping center is the only major grocery store in the bounds of the Watts neighborhood. And that wraps up five landmarks that are worth admiring in South LA. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to learn more about any of these sites or if you'd like to share your favorite landmark in the region. And I'll catch you guys around on the recap.